Welcome to Foxtech. Today, I'll show you how to go live on YouTube directly from your iPhone. Now, before we dive in, it's important to understand the difference between the YouTube app and the YouTube Studio app. The YouTube app is what you use to watch videos, and it's where you'll go live from. YouTube Studio, on the other hand, is primarily for managing your videos, checking analytics, and handling other behind-the-scenes tasks. You'll need both if you're regularly creating content, but for going live, you'll just be using the main YouTube app. To start your live stream, open up the YouTube app on your iPhone and make sure you're signed into your account. Once you're in, tap the plus icon at the bottom of the screen and select Go Live. If this is your first time going live, you may see a prompt asking for access to your camera and microphone. Be sure to allow access so that your viewers can see and hear you during the stream. Next, you'll need to set up your live stream. Start by entering a title for your stream and choose the visibility. This can be public, unlisted, or private, depending on who you want to watch your stream. You'll also need to set the audience by choosing if your stream is made for kids or not. This step is essential for compliance with YouTube's guidelines, so select the option that best fits your content. After that, you can adjust a few additional settings to make your live stream just right. For example, you can enable or disable live chat so viewers can interact with you during the stream. If necessary, you can also set age restrictions, which can help control who can view your stream based on the content. When you're ready to move on, tap next and follow the prompts to take a thumbnail photo or upload one if you already have something prepared. Once everything is set up, simply tap go live to start streaming from your iPhone. And when you're done, tap end to stop the live stream. Afterward, you'll be able to view some basic analytics to see how your stream performed, which can be helpful for planning future streams. Keep in mind, that there are some requirements around the number of subscribers needed to go live. So this feature isn't immediately available for every channel. YouTube has these restrictions in place to ensure that channels have some experience and engagement before they go live, which is a good measure for creators just starting out. Thanks for watching, and if this helped you out, please like the video and subscribe to Foxtech for more iPhone and YouTube tips. See you later.